y'all welcome to he walks with us everywhere i'm tracy i wanted to just give a little update about something that i mentioned months ago like last year months ago about these uh gmo mosquito things that you know the hell of gates is planning on distributing uh since like his company decided to go in mega millions of dollars with the uh, company that engineered these things and so what's happening is um, according to a report, and uh, let's see, I'm trying to find the report. Oh, the Florida Keys Mosquito Control District. Okay, according to a report, the Florida Keys Mosquito Control District, uh, FKMCD and Oxitec, which is the British biotech company, any biotech these days really unnerves me, will release the first ever genetically engineered 80s Egypti mosquitoes this week, which will see up to a billion over a two-year period. All right, so the project is supposedly looking at reducing the number of these specific types of mosquitoes, which are like the, they have the black and white stripes on their legs, those big, you know, big suckers. Um, because they carry dengue fever and Zika yellow fever and chikungunya, chikungunya, which is also not a good thing. Um, and so, yeah, they're they're releasing these, right? They're saying 144,000, which is quite interesting now that I'm thinking about it, because they're playing with scripture there. Do you see that? What does the Lord say? I'll have to find the verse. The Lord says that. 144,000 were be going to be the ones who were sealed on their foreheads. Interesting that they chose to release 144,000 over the next 12 weeks. So there they are playing with the number 12 as well. Ultimately, up to a billion will be released in Monroe County. Y'all, this is in the Florida Keys, okay? They're basically Frankenstein mosquitoes. Um, again, developed by Oxitect which was financed heavily by the B and M Gates Foundation, all right? Um, so these Skeeters, listen to this, carried, produced in a lab, all right? They have two types of genes, supposedly, that they carry. One is a fluorescent marker gene, a lot like luciferase, okay? Because it glows under a special red light. It allows researchers to identify them from wild skeeters, all right? It also has a self-limiting gene, supposedly, that prevents female skeeters offspring from surviving to adulthood. All right, so they're, what they're telling people is that they're trying to only have these males go out, mate with females, and then kill the females, not allow them to reproduce. To reduce the number well what's crazy is when I dug a little deeper which y'all know I like to do I see that in 2011 a field test took place in Brazil all right San Sao Paulo and what they did is released large numbers and supposedly according to wiki the Skeeter population declined by 80 to 95 percent supposedly but I dug a little deeper. What I found is that there's been an epidemic. This report was written, please hold and I'll find the date. This was written July 19th, 2017 in uh, borgenproject.org, all right? What it says is an epidemic of yellow fever has recently emerged in rural areas of Brazil. Hmm with over 3,192 suspected cases reported, 758 cases confirmed, 426 deaths from it. Fatality rate for confirmed cases has risen to 35% as of May 18th. Although it's not normally among the common diseases in Brazil, yellow fever poses a growing threat to Brazilian public health. Now, hold on a second. That's what these GM Skeeters are supposed to be doing. They're supposed to be reducing the problem. And yet, in that report from 2017, six years, 
past the first initial, I don't know how many releases they've done there, but six years after the initial release, they're seeing an increase in yellow fever. And so let's continue to read, all right? This is called The Scientist. Pretty sure these folks are not Christ-centered. I'm pretty sure they have no love for the Lord. I'm pretty sure that they agree with modifying things and editing things, all right? So listen to this. Now this report, this was from, again, give me another second. I'm sorry, I'll trying to find the date here. This was from September 17th of 2019. Okay, if you remember last year in August, I think it was CNN and some other places came out to let us know that they had plans to release these GM Skeeters. All right, so September 17th, 2019, they had to update this report, okay, on September the 18th, the day after they wrote it and released it, they were forced to make an editor's note. It says, update, September 18th, Scientific Reports has issued an editor's note stating that the conclusions of this paper, this is a scientific paper, uh, are subject to criticisms that are being considered by editors. Hmm, wonder who edits the scientist. In a statement sent to the scientist, this company that engineered these, Skeeters, says it takes issues with a number of conclusions the author made in the report. All right, wonder why. Here's what the author said. It's a fairly short thing, but I'm gonna try and read it all. A field experiment in Brazil that deployed GM Skeeters to control wide populations of the pest may be having unintended consequences. What, like the 2017 paper that I just read from that said that there's a spike in yellow fever and deaths from it? Hmm. According to a genetic analysis of mosquitoes in the area, it appears the engineered stock has bred with wild mosquitoes and created viable, viable, that means thriving, alive, hybrid insects. Scientists reported in scientific reports last week, September 10th, 2019. The claim was that genes from the release strain would not get into the general population because offspring would die. That's how they're selling this, you guys. Co-author Jeffrey Powell, a professor of ecology and evolutionary biology at Yale University, says in a press release, that obviously was not what happened. I repeat, that was not what happened. The biotech company Oxitech began releasing hundreds of thousands of GM engineered Skeeters in the city of Jacobina, between, well here it says between 2013 and 2015, but what I read said 2011. The idea is that GM Skeeters males would mate with wild type females, pass on a gene that kills their offspring before they themselves could breed, ultimately knocking down that population, right? The study's authors who are not affiliated with Oxitec began sampling mosquitoes in Jacobina before during and after the deployment of the GM Skeeters. They created a genetic panel that distinguished the wild type Skeeters from the introduced ones and found that insects analyzed more than two years after the release stopped were progeny of both wild type and mutant or OX513A lineages. The degree of introgression is not trivial, the authors write in their report means it's not small. Depending on sample and criterion used in define unambiguous introgression from about 10% to 60% of all individuals have some OX513A genome. Oxitec takes issues with Powell's study. The company, of course they do. Who's funding the company? What is his overall desire, right? All of these elitists, what is their overall desire to reduce what? Think of the Georgia Guidestones. They literally in stone want humanity to be maintained at, you know, 500 million people or less. What happens to the other 7.25 billion? Okay, so the company funded by the foundation that I shall not name, <laughs> takes issue with Powell's study. Of course it does. The company tells Gizmodo 
It is current, quote, currently in the process of working with nature research publishers to remove or substantially correct this article, which was found to, okay, so they're working with people to remove or correct, right? Fact checked this article, which was found to contain numerous false, speculative, and unsubstantiated claims and statements about their GM technology, baloney. The company has reported positive results as far as reducing Skeeter populations and potentially Skeeter-borne illnesses. All right. Texas and Florida, according to this report in 2019, have considered using this company's Skeeters to control populations in their state. No, 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 guys. We're past that. They're being released. You understand? These same GM Skeeters that were released in Brazil that years down the road showed a pretty dramatic increase in yellow fever and other issues that scientists performed studies and found that 10 to 60 percent are now genetically changed and altered in the wild you guys on september 11th 2019 the epa posted a request for public comment on Oxytech's application to release engineered insects in the Florida Keys. If approved, it would be the first deployment of the animals in the U.S., so they say. Now, I don't even know if that's true. I don't even know if this is the first time. What I want to tell you guys, though, if you're in the Florida Keys, Florida, Texas, wherever you're at, what I want to say is uh, get some citronella, all right? Get some uh, verbena, lemongrass, lemongrass balm, eucalyptus, Rosemary is fantastic. Look and see what are good natural repellents for these suckers. <laughs> no pun intended or every pun intended. Because I'm telling you guys, there's something really stingy going on with all this. There's something not right at all. And of course, anytime B and B and M G, right? Anytime their foundation is behind anything, it raises red flags in my heart and in my mind. And this is serious, you guys. I mean, that that one report that I was reading, I want to just go back to it really quick. You know, I mean, it says here an epidemic. Epidemic. Let's look. What does that word mean? What is the word epidemic? It is the rapid spread of disease to a large number of people in a given population within a short period of time. So an epidemic of yellow fever has recently emerged in rural areas of Brazil with over 3,192 suspected cases reported. And this, you guys, once more, this is after the release of the supposed GM Skeeters that are going to destroy all of that, that would ever cause a problem. No, no, these, these suckers are to go and, and kill off the offspring and then reduce all of these diseases and plagues. You guys, they are doing things to intentionally increase disease on the earth. They're releasing a biblical number of 144,000. Why did they choose that number? I wanna know, Oxytech? Give me your reason. Why 144,000? Why not 200,000? Why not an even 100,000? Why 144,000 over a 12-month period that you're looking at a billion? All right, y'all. Get your family protected. Buy some things, you know, to just, I don't know, put some plants. I don't care if you're in an apartment. You know, garden plant, all right? Put some, put some stuff out there. Citronella. Even lavender is a deterrent and they're beautiful. Rosemary, there's lemongrass, lemon balm, um, even some mints are deterrents. Just be aware, absolutely be aware. Make sure you're prayed up as always. Talk to the Father, do not walk this out in fear. Our God is much bigger than any of these companies and biotech places out there. He will shield those who are his. That's a promise. It's not a maybe. It's an absolute. He will shield and protect those who are his. So woe unto you, B and GG, B and MG Foundation. Woe unto you, this GM Skeeter Tech Place. 
You have no idea what you're unleashing, what you're, it's going to fall back on your head a hundredfold. And I just pray right now that the Lord would work and send those things into the enemy's camp. Let them all beeline it for his house. Let them all beeline it for these people who are sick. It's insane, you guys. Yellow fever, so you know, is an acute viral hemorrhagic disease that includes symptoms such as black vomit and bleeding from the navel cavities. This species of Skeeter, currently, the one that their GM, that they're modifying, okay, currently transmits the disease. All right? So... Already, Brazil has had to request 3.5 million doses of yellow fever asine from the International Coordinating Group on asine provision. I can't say that word. Only 6 million doses currently exist in the emergency stockpile for it. For perspective, Rio de Janeiro had an estimated 12 million residents in and around the city in 2016. While country officials deal with the yellow fever endemic, epidemic, it's said up there, there are several other diseases which continue to affect its citizens, especially those living in poverty. Other common diseases in Brazil include like heart disease, diabetes, diarrheal disease. This is a big thing, you guys. This is not a small thing. So, like I said, uh, do your research, look things up, and just be aware. I love you all. I'll be making another video soon. Um, I, I think it's gonna have something to do with another report that I came across that uh, John Kerry happens to be a part of even before he made the front page news this week. So be looking out for that. I love you all.